Ogren tied up by Madeline Weathington, but Edwards works it out. Murphy, though, picks it off. Now Murphy again off to the races, trying to cut hard to the net. To the back, Angie scores! Abby Murphy for Minnesota! And Murphy, with 100 points in her career with that goal, puts Minnesota up one to nothing. Just as Abby Murphy does, she drops that shoulder, takes it to the net, like I said earlier in the shorthanded attempt. She just catches the Wisconsin defender with her back facing the net, drives right past her, roofs the top shelf. What a backhander, what a way to reach 100 points for Abby Murphy. Zumling goes a screen there on her own goalie. Wheeler again in front. Back to Wheeler, they score! Badgers answer right back. Wheeler in the middle. Picard gave it back to Wheeler. Beats Morgan to the glove side, and the lead for Minnesota did not last very long. Looks like Picard fanned on the shot a little bit there, and a bit of luck there. Five-minute major, so Wisconsin can score at will. That was a four-on-three power play to start. Wide open ice, and it didn't take them long. Kirsten Sims snipes that one up over the glove of Lucy Morgan. And it's 2-1 Wisconsin, and we'll stay four-on-three still. Kirsten Sims, she's got a lot of room there. She takes her time to walk right in and snipe that one past Lucy Morgan for her third power play goal of the year. Short side shot. Pretty quick one, two in and out, as you see there. Lightning off the corner boards. Bouvang now with the puck near wall. Bouvang across. Murphy. Murphy shoots. She scores. Abby Murphy, the power play goal for Minnesota, has tied the game. Well, Murphy, sometimes she does things that you just shake your head at, but then she completely redeems herself with a power play goal that ties this game at two. Abby Murphy with her eighth power play goal. You see her patiently waiting there, waiting for that one-timer. just comes to her. She rips it. A little bit of a low shot, but still manages to beat Gervais for a sec. Minnesota wins the draw. Ava Lindsay, bottom of the circle, sent it in front, but it's deflected by a Wisconsin stick behind. And now it's thrown to the net, and they score. I think Nellie Lightman. What a crazy goal. Nellie Lightman just kind of flings it at the net there. I don't think Gervais saw that at all. I think it was Ava Lindsay out front, maybe giving her a bit of a screen. You can see Ava Lindsay, she ducks her head to the side a little bit to let that shot come through. So, wasn't Ava Lindsay, sorry about that. It was um, Emma Christ, she was out front. Again, showing the depth for Wisconsin here, getting some offensive zone pressure. Weathington with the steal, Gophers get it out front, bang, home! And the Gophers lead four to two. Goal here. Actually, no, Sadie Lindsay, her second of the season. Nice hand-eye coordination there by Sadie Lindsay. First career goal in her third year. And now she gets two and two weekends for Minnesota. Still have a two-goal lead early in this third period. Solvay Neutzer shoots, she scores! Neutzer, her first golden goal for goal. And would you look at that? Lacey Eden misses a wide open net on the other end. You got Solveig Neutzert, who buries a slapper from the point to give the Gophers a three-goal cushion earlier in the third period. Huge goal from Solveig Neutzert. Solveig making up for a very bad shift at the end of the period. Almost cost Minnesota a goal. Makes up for it there. Clock again continues to run, and the Gophers love to see that here. We're at the 14-minute mark, but... Here comes Wisconsin, O'Brien scores, and that one gives Wisconsin some life. Casey O'Brien with her second of the game. Kind of like that Maddie Wheeler goal earlier in the first period. It just takes a bounce off a gopher skate there. You'll see allowing that tap in out front. Just a weird bounce off a gopher skate. And that one gets out of the zone, just five seconds left. And Minnesota will hold on to win game one here over Wisconsin.